Okay, hi there everybody. As I promised you um, the other day when I made a video on my sprays, um, I'm going to do the tutorial now on the whole spray. <clears throat> I know at the end of the other video I showed you how I made um, these little picks. So I have went ahead and um, got everything ready and pretty much taped up because otherwise it would take me too long. But I'm going to make one in yellow. But that's the one I made the other day in my previous video. And then I, <clears throat> excuse me, I also made this one. And now I'm going to go ahead and put together a yellow one. And I kind of got everything in order, so I just have to put it together so you can get an idea. But if you, if you want to see how I made, and you didn't tune into the other video, and you want to see how I made these, um go through my videos and go to my flower spray video and at the end of that video I did put a tutorial on how to make these so um, I got everything here that I want to put this together with and what you'll what you'll I'll be there in a minute what you'll need is this one I'm gonna add something different though um, I made that and as all that is is the mesh bling that you that's ever so popular now and a flat back pearl um, if you're interested in getting the mesh bling, it is sold over at Creative Soup for the Soul at the CSS store. Trish has that for sale in many different colors. And what I did was, it was actually an accident how I found this. I was using my Tim Holtz dye, and it was the dress form one. And on that, there's a button. Let me see here that button. I cut out a dress form with the mesh bling and yes you can put it through with these kind of dies uh, through your cuddle bug and it will cut it out. I cut out the dress form in it but so I had the scrap button piece and it just made a perfect circle. I'm like oh how cute I can um, put a pearl on it and it so I cut out a bunch more just the circles I used my scrap pieces and cut them out and put a flat back pearl and these would make awesome centers for flowers as well but I attached wire to it this thin wire and as I said before this is 28 gauge beading wire it's very thin and very flexible it's almost like thread and you need this when you're gonna um, thread it through these little pearls and you really want it to be flexible so um, I just stuck it through the hole and twisted them together like you would a bread twisty and there you have it. And so they're on these wires and I left the wire long because I don't know how I'm going to put this. So, and then of course you need floral tape and I have the white floral tape. And then of course you need different for array of flowers. The flowers I'm using are just from Recollections. They came like that in the little circle packs. I'm sure you've seen them. I took them apart and these are just some leaves from my stash. And then these flowers, I don't even know where I got them, but they were all white. I colored them using, this is Radiant Rain, and it's kind of like a Lindy Stamp Gang um, spray, and it's the Sunburst. And I did get this at one of my local scrapbooking stores. It's by Lumen Arts. So I colored the tip of it with that for the yellow. And then to give it a mist, I used... Uh, a sparkly mist. I did use my pearl mist from Ranger and it's the per perfect pearl color. Alright, so let's get started putting this together. So here I have separated my excuse me um, my picks these long picks and these I'm going to add in and then my flowers and I just took the recollection flowers, I undid them from the pack like this and I pulled the stems out nice and long like that and then you take the floral tape and you just you wrap it for stability to make it sturdy and I did save one to show you how I did that and I do that with everything these I did not wrap in floral tape because I think that I just want them on the wire looking you know like flexible I don't know what the word is but I'll wrap one flower for you to show you and then I'll show you how I put it all together. I'll try to go as quick as I can because I know time is an issue. We're already into four minutes, but okay, so I think we're into four minutes. I don't know. So you just start with your piece of floral tape, 
piece like this, I hope I don't knock over my camera, and you keep this on the stem, and this is a pretty sturdy stem here, and you just start, put the floral tape there and kind of wrap it around and pinch that shut, and it, it's, it'll kind of stick to itself, and then you want to pinch it. You're constantly going to pinch it to make it stick. And this is a little challenging because it's so small, this thing, but once you get it sticking and you want to pinch it with your fingers and then just twist it down. Pinch, twist, pinch it, twist it, and then it automatically starts sticking. Like I said, this white floral tape from the oils on your hands, it gets dirty, so I just take a little bit of um, white craft paint and touch it up when I'm done. Okay, so that's all you do is to cover it up and then cut the tape. And now we're going to go ahead and arrange this how we want it. So you're going to take your picks, and I left them long. You can always cut them if you need to. But we're going to start. We want to kind of build it however you kind of want. Um, I put one long one in the center, and then I kind of go down, down with these like this and you can bend these to make the um you can see that how I'm just I'm putting them together and in, in how I want them to look and so what we're gonna do here I think this one should go even lower alright so I kinda have them arranged like that you want you know you have a tall one and just kinda make it like a tree you know tall and then going shorter and then hold it right about there and then you're gonna get your floral tape cut a piece of your floral tape cut a big one and you're going to um, wrap these together and you're gonna start whoops I broke my tape but that's okay because you're just gonna get the initial wrapping on the one then we can always add tape to it. Okay, so now of course they got all mangled up. Shape them to the way you want them. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so that looks like how we had it. Um, and now that I have them together, you might want to just twist one of these wires, one of the wires around everything to keep it bunched up. And I'm just doing nothing but twisting around. And you can cut those ends off. So the, it's pretty secured now in how we have it, but I want to make it more secure with the tape. And um, go down further with it. Sorry if I keep going out of frame. It's not easy doing this. So like I said, just keep wrapping the tape. Oops. To build up that base and make it sticky. Just twist it around going down. You don't want to get it too bulky because now we're going to be adding on. So as soon as I get it a little, a little secure and I know there's not anything going to be twisting around. I cut that off and then um, so there you go you have the first part of your spray and then I'm going to I think I'll add in I'll add in this. You kind of just have to position it to where you want it. I want this to go up here and this will be this one since it's just on that wire I'm gonna take the wire that it's on and just wrap it around because eventually more floral tapes gonna go over that so that one's and then of course you can bend it and it'll get it'll get better when can you kind of see how I attached it? 
and it'll move around but we're going to attach it more with tape once we get our flowers in and then you want to choose your flowers um start up high i would say that we need to attach one to this top top spray right here so i'll get a little piece of tape and as all I'm doing is taking this stem, attaching it onto this stem, and I'm going to wrap it with some floral tape. I might have to make this in a two part video. Alright, so we have, oops, now that's coming out like a um, little stem, and then the colors I chose was, were yellow and, um, and gray, so you kind of want to, you know, e make it even to where you are, put it together before you glue it down so you get an idea of where you're going to want things. Alright, so that, I'm going to cut another piece of floral tape. And I'm going to find another stem, which is going to be the middle one again. And I'll attach it slightly lower to that. And I'm going to go in there and go low with this where I'm going to wrap it. So you pinch it and then you can bend these because they'll bend back and you're just going to wrap your floral tape. Once you get it going, it'll be okay. But pinch and wrap, pinch and wrap. Okay, and then you can bring it down. You want to go down toward, I'm going to bend these out of the way. Go down with it and then before There we go. So we have now, this one's probably going to turn out crappy because I'm trying to do it in frame. But that's okay as long as you get the idea what I'm doing. Alright, let's cut this floral tape here. Make sure you pinch it so it's sticky. It sticks. Alright, and you can see it's graying up so we'll have to get back in there with So we have that coming out. This thing might be too flimsy. I might have to end up putting um, see how we're building it so far? And then you want to take another flower. Let's do another yellow. Let's do this big yellow one right here. Um, not pretty to kind of just fill in with big the bigness and that look nice and then get your tape and we're going to tape that up again and I'm going to go switch over to do part two so um, go check out part two of this video